Hello everyone. Um, thank you for stopping by and coming to see my video. Uh, I am going to be doing uh, a rooster. I got a, uh, I got, um, someone had uh, commented that they would like me to do a rooster and similar to the one that I did with the, um, the uh, Highland Cow. So um, we're going to do that. I, I just wanted to show you a few things because um, as we uh, have finished a couple paintings, I wanted to show you this. Um, this was my biggest flop, but wait till you see this uh, painting in a frame. It really has uh, kind of stepped it up a bit. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see all that. I know it's kind of hard. Let me see if I can zoom out. Uh, it doesn't it look so pretty in a frame. I mean, it really, um, this little bit of gold kind of helped bring those, those gold tones out in the hearts. And, uh, it really turned out nice compared to, you know, like how I was struggling with that, as we all do struggle with things. And then, um, I also got a frame for the cow. And I know you're not going to be able to see this because it's so huge, but, uh, that 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 picture really looks nice in that. So um, sometimes it just pays to get a frame, and it just kind of helps to set the picture in motion. You know, it just really makes it look cool. So unfortunately, that can't get onto the camera because my camera is so going close to everything. But um, Sometimes just a frame, and I always buy my frames at uh, Hobby Lobby, and they were having a frame sale. I guess some of these uh, frames were actually going, um, were being, uh, I guess, you know, not no longer in uh, in circulation. So that happened, and that's how I got to get that. Uh, okay, so let's see here now. Um, I'm going to start out here. I want to kind of give it a bluish, purplish background. Uh, I think that would really be pretty. And I am going to get my purples. My purple. And uh, some blue. And we'll see how this goes. So I have like a light blue permanent basic. Um, shade. We're going to use that. I have this gray purple, uh, which is a master's touch. And I also have this bright aqua. So, um, some of these colors are actually going to be into, into the, uh, rooster. So, uh, let's get started. Get started with some of this. I'm going to put my light blue hue out first. Let's see. And unfortunately, I'm not doing this as a live today because um, I have some uh, things that I have to do uh, hair-wise. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to be doing some things like that. So I'm going to start out here with the light blue. And actually, I should put all the colors out here so that I can mix them. Because what I like to do is kind of mix them with canvas if I can open it mm. oh that was a little so that's the purple love that shade and I love this shade here so I hope it's still good mm. I might not have much of that Ooh. <laughs> that, that makes a lot of noise doesn't it okay We'll start out with this light. And this uh, um, tracing will be on uh, Patreon. Um, it would be great if you could be a member. Uh, I am actually, um, if you become a member, there are different levels. And each level gets a special gift every month uh, from me. So, uh, let me get this purple in here. I want to kind of get that down on the bottom around his legs. 
I guess a rooster usually isn't a female. I don't know. You'd have to enlighten me on that because I'm not sure. Add a little bit of this turquoise. That'll make it really pop down here. And I don't have a lot of paint on my brush because this one I'm trying to just do a dry brush on it uh, in order to like make it blend. And it just helps to make it uh, pop out a little bit more. So uh, Saturday, which probably by the time I get this edited, uh, the interview will be over. But I have interviewed... Um, Diana of Artfully Blind with Diana and uh, she is an artist who has quite a background um, very interesting person um, she was a school teacher and um, she uh, does this art and has impaired vision uh, it's some sort of a thing that happens to the retina and uh, she does amazing work, considering that uh, she has that issue. I know uh, another artist who, um, I haven't seen this person for a while, but um, <clears throat> they are colorblind. So uh, that's a difficult situation right there. Um, he... Uh, he has his wife help him with color, especially like reds and greens, which he can't see. So some artists are so so uh, in, into art that they will do anything to do the art. I mean, <clears throat> everybody loves... Uh, for me, I, I love doing this. I just enjoy teaching people um, art. I enjoy doing art. I have since I was like young probably eight years old I started really enjoying drawing and things like that and I think I told this story once before but um when I was in the second or maybe it was a third grade I'm not quite sure it might have been second and we had to draw a bird and uh I think I picked a um cardinal bird and I did the bird and it really looked nice, and everybody kept saying that I traced it, that I didn't draw it. And I was so upset by that, that <clears throat> people kept saying, you know, you traced it, you traced it. I didn't trace it, I drew it. I have a better uh, perception of animals than I do of human beings, uh, as far as uh, drawing them. Uh, <clears throat> I can kind of get the gist of them easier than now, I got this easier than a human you know person I, I can draw those uh, cute little um, abstract faces that I've been working on those a little bit so I'm trying to get better at that because <clears throat> I think once you get better at the abstract you probably can get better at human too uh, real people <clears throat> It's just a matter of knowing where the um, features are. That's that's the key, you know. We're going to make this purpley go up, but I don't want it to go up too far because the colors will be distorted in the, the feathers. So... So I'm going to go in with my smaller brush here, kind of just outline these areas that are tight.
like this purple shade. It kind of blends with everything here. I want to get that purpley underneath here too. This is just a slow kind of process here. I've been having a struggle with this lately. Um, well, I've just been uh, really not feeling too good with my pain. Um, this winter has been really tough on me. And uh, I, my husband actually, he's going to be retiring. Actually, tomorrow is his last day. Um, and I'm still working. Uh, but I, I just am having a real struggle. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to work till the end of summer or if I'm just going to... I don't know. I shouldn't even say that because I don't might know my boss does post and I just um I'm having a, a real hard time with pain. I don't know what's going on. You know, like sometimes it's just with the weather, you know, um well, I guess that's part of getting older. Um, Okay, uh, I think that this here needs to be blue. I have a little too much on my brush. little holes of blue here. Oh, it should be purple there, I guess. A little bit of purple in this. I always like to get the background in my paintings because that helps to um, show uh, what is needed in the foreground. So it's always a good idea to do that, the background pieces. So we're going to get this, uh, let's get some more of this. These are all feathers. I think that's a feather too. So we're just going to keep that going like it is. Um, this might be an opening here. Little feathers. If not, we can always, you know, once I get started, I might want to make some adjustments here uh, as far as what needs to be done. So we want to make sure we get this really nice, too, around his plumage here. This is going to be red. I want that to pop out. you use your brush on the side, you can just make a really nice, clean line. But I will get in there with, uh, I mean, I could do it this way. Like that.
and I'm going to get my smaller brush and just watch how this gets happening here just around this area make it tight a little bit down and through here just a little pizzazz here once it starts to dry you can see some of the uh, canvas show through so and I am going to go on the sides a little bit because some of this uh, plumage does come over and I want to make sure that I have that okay I like the way that's looking it's looking good Okay, I'm going to rinse out my brushes. Get some paper towel here. So, the bottom here has a little bit of purpley very dark purple um, color here so I'm gonna see if I can get that a little darker with some red Put a little red in there so I'm using this is a uh, artist loft brilliant red I am going to pull this put this on my canvas here I mean my palette and uh, let's see if we can mix a little bit of that into the purple. I don't know what's going to happen. Sometimes it will get nice and dark. I want it a little darker than what we have on the outside there. So let's see how this looks. I think I should put maybe a little bit, maybe an Alzheimer's Crimson in there. So, this is uh, Alzheimer's and Crimson Hue. It's a Utrecht color. I've had this for a while. So, I use a nutcracker to open these up because after a while the lids dry on there and it's really, oh, that came right off. Um, hard to, so I'm just going to throw that in there a little bit some of them out. I do have, let's see, I have a brilliant blue too. It's a uh, artist loft, so let's try some of that on here too. It's kind of dark. It might make a nice addition here. Add a little bit of that in there. Get it nice and deep. There we go. That looks good. Alright, so it's a pretty deep dark shade. And we'll add a few strokes in here that'll pop that out a little bit. And with my little brush, I'm just going to kind of make the edge a little cleaner. A 
This brush is a, oh, what do they call this here? It's a Angular Creative Mark. So I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby. It's angled. So it goes into those little areas really well. Like up in here. And through here. I want to get that nice. And here. Alright, so in order to just lighten that up a little bit, around the edges here, I'm just going to put some of that light blue on my brush, kind of just give it a little, kind of make it look like a little feathery here. That looks good. Okay, rinse these out. Okay, I'm gonna get a huggy here. Wipe my fingers. Um, yeah, that's looking really nice. It's looking good. Um, so we still have some of that darkness under here. Uh, we're going to get some of that in there too, some more of that underneath. Maybe make it a little darker here. A lot of little details here, but you know, everything is done with the brush. It's not like it's going to be hard to do for you. Uh, it's just a matter of how you use the brush. <clears throat> and I have a little bit of blue in my brush, so it's coming out right now. It's kind of making it look... Pretty cool. Now in those little sections, again, we're going to just kind of use our um, just wipe that off and get some of this. Our uh, angle brush here in a minute. Okay. Just touch it with a little bit of the we get it down.
I'll get my little angle brush now, put that in the water. He has a quite uh, interesting um, feather plumage. He is quite the uh, quite the man here. Very colorful. in there so it's easier to uh, I'm finding it's getting dry so if you do get a little dry just add a little water to your paint Having to stop here in a second, but I'll pick it up after after I'm done. Okay, let's see. Let's get a little bit of that really nice. Tapping this in to make it look like there's little feathers in there. here. Okay. Kind of more here too. So I'm just tapping them in. I'm not making any kind of um, detail. That's the thing. You don't want to detail it too much because uh, then it kind of just makes it not as nice, I think. Um, just gonna kind of pull some of this in here, just a little bit more. You know, showing it that's a little bit too. Okay, so we'll continue this. Um, in our next chapter but it'll all be in one video because uh, I, I think I can get this done pretty quickly I just want to make sure that um, it's looking good you know so uh, we'll be back do his uh, head here um, I'd like to get that in and I'm going to use that bright red I'm going to use my angle brush here. I'm going to get a little bit of white. Well, actually, let me get a little orange. I think that would really set that off pretty nice. Um, I have this orange uh, that is a master's touch. I'm going to put that out on my palette. I think that'll give it a nice contrast into that area. 
there's a lot of colors within this little character. We're probably going to have to go over this again. Um, with the red. Might have to get a little deeper red. Add a little bit of that alizarin crimson to my red. Can I get it a little deeper? Right, especially here, we need a little, a little bit deeper here. Get some white out. Just a tad. I need some white. Just in through here a little bit of white. Kind of just making this a little bit more opaque because my reds are so transparent. I don't want them to have a pink area here, but I think when I go over this again, it'll kind of brighten that up a little, even through here. So this um, area in here, I am going to go into my uh, burnt sienna. I have this one here. It is a artist quality acrylic paint. I actually got this on. Um, boy, I don't know if I can open it. I got this on. Um, oh, I might have to use it. Oh, here we go. Um, Amazon, and it is a really nice. Uh, nice nice color I'm gonna have to scoop that out a little bit with a palette knife of some sort or just kind of because this this doesn't have a spillage kind of thing that you can just spill it out it's um a little bit of that to kind of get some of this in here. I can use my bigger brush for that. This is like going to be the base color of his coat. Now you kind of want to like make the strokes and I'm holding my um, brush ver horizontally and just pulling it down kind of as if those were actual feathers. 
I'm just kind of cutting them in here. feels good to paint. I haven't done a painting for a while. It feels like it anyway. And it just feels really good to be able to do this. Always good therapy. Always good therapy. And right now, who doesn't need therapy? <laughs> with all the things that are happening. Okay, now we're gonna start to get some like highlights in here. Uh, I'm gonna go into my orange. Get that on my brush. And um, in these areas here, we're gonna kinda them down with some of these colors. Lighten them up a little bit. And in here. And uh, I'm going to get a little bit of white in my brush here and get some highlights that are a little bit different here. Okay, gonna go into my red and get some red even. Just kind of like highlight them up a little. some red colors in some of the edges here and um, and I think right in here I might actually add some purplish color just kind of like pizzazz it up a little grab some white and purple just kind of a little bit more white so it shows up. That's a little too light. Okay. Now, um, the next color that I'm looking at is a little bit of the um, raw umber. This is a um, Master's Touch. get a little shadowy look in here. Um, so I'm going into my raw umber, just kind of getting some of this a little darker in here. Now I don't want it too dark, but I did want that little bit just to kind of get 
give them a little bit of depth. And um, let me go into some of that blue, just straight on blue that I had out. And I'm just going to kind of underneath each one of these little feathers get a little bit of depth with dark here. Get my little angle brush. Just kind of give it some depth here. shadow. Little shadowing here. Here comes my doggie. Alright, so let me go back into the Sienna. Just kind of Kind of giving it so that it looks a little bit more realistic. Um, highlight that some more with some yellow. I probably have no yellow. Oh, I should have yellow in here. Yes, I do. Get some yellowish shade in there. Lots of shades, lots of colors today with this. I think I'm going to get it open, hopefully. to this so it pops better okay back into my sienna there Now I'm going into my orange again. Oh wow, this is awesome. This looks real good. Okay, I'm going into my sienna. I'm going to just blending that a little bit better. Getting that purple, maybe some of that purpley blue, put some blue into that, get like a nice bright color here. And Sally decided she don't want to stay. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Just kind of glazing this. I don't want to cover that up too much, but I'm going to glaze a little bit. Need to get rid of some of that color there. Just get like a darker. Oh, that's what it was here. And um brush go into my blue here just kind of get that like a little bit there too just kind of getting those little edges nice and clean and dark Just straight blue. Then up in here, we're going to put a little bit more of a cast here, like the um, turquoise. Just add a couple little things that go like this, this way. Different strokes here. Sort of almost like weaving it in there. I'll, I'll get that a little bit more as we go on here. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, I want to get that red. I want to really pop that red on his, whatever this is called, his little plumage here. Get it nice and dark, and then I'll put a little, I'm going to add, now here, it's a little darker, so I'm going to use some alizarin and crimson in that red. Because I want this part real, really dark in through here. It's still showing red, but it should be a little darker. Yeah, so this is much darker. In here. So I'm just putting the crimson on here, the Alzarian. And it's kind of rough. It's a roughness here. has some of this dark dark brown from what I'm looking on this photograph here which I, I think I I found this on Pixabay or on Splash it was one of those um, sites it comes over here it's around, if I'm not mistaken it's around his eye here so we'll just do that like that and then some white was added to it just to kind of give it a little there. and the same with the um, this part up here but 
it just has a little bit of highlights in here that it's like worked over with some of the lighter red here. So I'm gonna get those highlights in there. But I have to get that dark. I have to get this a little darker. I gotta feel this little, gotta feel it, you know? You just have to feel his, his, um, he is so cool and you have to feel it as you're painting it, you know? He's proud, he's a proud chicken rooster and uh, we wanna feel that. I have to feel that. And his thing comes out like that. It is like that. Okay, and he is built up, very much build up here. Same here. It's just a buildup of these colors and shades of red and beautiful. Proud. He's proud. He's a proud, proud rooster. We are going to get this like he's got. Just kind of there we go. All right, he is looking dapper, dapper, dapper. Okay. Yeah, he's looking awesome. Awesome, awesome. I like it a lot. Very much so. All right. Or we'll go to the next step, which is this. We'll do his eye. Oh, that'll make him really pop. And then we'll do his beak. Okay. So let's see here now. Um,. Let me see if I can tip this down so we can see it a little bit better. Hopefully. As we work on the other parts here. Yeah, we'll be going right up at the top. Alright, so. Let's start putting in some of these feathers. Okay, I'm going to put more of my um, <clears throat> gray-purple on my palette here. And uh, we'll probably use some of that blue. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to get some of that in there because I think that will really jazz it up a bit as far as uh, then we'll put some of that other shade in there. This one here, uh, it's going to come 
over some of the background, I believe. Looks like some of that background. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this in. And I believe right here is some of the background. So I'm going to put some of that light blue <clears throat> background in there. Put a little bit more of the paint out. That was basics light blue. I put some of that in there just so it blends a little bit better. <clears throat> All right, so now, <clears throat> boy, I'm losing my voice here. Um, <clears throat> some of these feathers of this birdie comes up on that, see? That's why I wanted to get that in there. So what I'm just doing is kind of pressing down with my brush, kind of getting that texture in there. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I think that this here one... I want to get this one as a white blue also. And I'm just going to pick up a tad bit of white and kind of give this just a little bit of that shade of blue. I want that to be actually a little darker than it is <clears throat> coming through here. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to wipe off my brush. And grab some of that purple. This one's just going to come right up like that. over like that. Also it comes underneath that. <clears throat> and it has a little bit of red in it. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab that just to get it in there a little. <clears throat> Part of that feather right there has that blue, <clears throat> I mean that um, alizarian in there. Okay. Get some more of that. Um, so this here is also, it's sort of like the blue, but I'm going to get my turquoise color first. I'm going to put that down. Did you do something, Sally? Did you do something out there? I'm going to put some of this blue on top of that, make it a little darker. And 
and I'm going to get my Alzarian. Because it has this, um, is it such a beautiful rooster, it has this Alzarian in, uh, throughout it. I did not wash my brush. I'm just going to dab these pieces in here. Like. Now, I'm just kind of like C-stroking this a little bit. Okay, wiping that off again. Uh, getting some of that light blue in here. Well, I guess not. We'll just kind of make that that shade and have it come off that feather. Put a little bit more darker blue here. Up into that. Proud rooster. Okay, so I just want to turn my camera a bit. Okay, that's better. All right. Um, there's other ones underneath here that are pretty, pretty blue. So <clears throat> there is a streak of lightness here. So let me rinse that out. of lightness here. Get some towel here. Streak of background. <clears throat> we have it in here. So we're going to kind of just get this in here. That actually could be a I got it in back here. That's where it was, the background. <clears throat> Actually, what I'm going to do, because I don't like the way this looks here, I'm going to cover that up. And we'll put more. We'll fix that. Um, I think I got the color in the wrong spot, but that's all right, because I'm, I'm using a guide here from my where I took it off, pin, uh, not Pinterest, but Pixabay. Okay. These are like all featheries and stuff. But there's a big, big feather. Okay. That's good. Little holes for the Okay, so this, okay, now we can do our thing with that. Okay, so. Now. Mix a little bit of that blue with some of the Alizarian and Crimson. Kind of get like a darker reddish blue. Put a little bit of my um, brilliant blue in there. Okay, let's see here. A lot of these are very dark. I have this shade here. I don't know. I'd like to try it. It's permanent violet. And it really looks um, like it might work. This is a uh, Krill. Lucas Krill. I don't, I've don't. i never used this. It's brand new. And I'm going to try Oops. I'm going to try it and see how it works on here. Because we really need some dark shades. 
This is very, very dark, but it's also fluidy. I think I'd like to try that with this. So I'm just mixing some of my blue and my purple together. That should make a nice deep shade of blue, which I'm going to put right in here. And I'm just using the side of my brush to do that. Give it a nice look there. Okay, now there's one here. Okay, there's one underneath, which is very dark. So I'm gonna get that dark blue right here. is the alizarian that comes off of here so it comes off like the oops like this and it comes off of that and it comes up Want your strokes to be light and very quick. Awesome. Okay, my white's out off because I want to get that blue purple. And that's going to be right in here. Right there. It's a little puzzle. It's all a little puzzle. The puzzle comes down to here. This is more blue, uh, purple, and I want more blue into that. So I'm picking up my blue on my brush. There we go. This is looking awesome. Mm. Very pretty. Very pretty birdie. Rooster. He's probably quite proud of himself. Very, very pretty.
wiping this off again and I'm going to do a turquoise feather right here. And the nice part about this is I have that paint on here. So when it's on there, it really kind of mixes nicely with the colors. Grab some of that dark purple. I'm going to put that in here. Because this has to be separated here a little bit. going to come down like that. It's nice purpley. And um, there's this one that comes up. But uh, this big one here, this nice big one, is sort of like um, a turquoise. But these are like all those purpley shades. And See how I'm turning my brush? That's just going to come right over top of some of that. On the edge of this is some of those reddish shades. some white here because <clears throat> I still want to get some of this like where it's needing that other one. Okay. It's cool like that. That would be cool. <clears throat> and here on the edge here just a little bit. Lighten this up some. really going in here. Okay. It's really dark in through here. very purpley. Right in here it's very purpley. Okay. Comes up to meet that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Get more of that purple. Put those in there.
this dry a little smidge and then get some maybe get some red in there. Kind of spruce that up a bit. Okay, still have some more in here to put in. Um, this here is a, like a really big blue and white. Kind of dark in through here, but we're going to put this. dark blue purpley color coming in here and that purple let's get some of that purpley which is part of this here it comes down <clears throat> okay, and I think these little air pockets that I have, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> let me get my little angler brush here, smooth some of this out here. <clears throat> yep. Okay, so some of that is like the sky <clears throat> parts here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, this part here is real dark, so we're going to use a little mixture of purple and blue. <clears throat> Just kind of darken this up here. Oops, I got it on that feather. Very dark in here. Okay, let's see if we can get some more depth in that. Get some.
that's going to be a little bit lighter too. I'm going to get more of that light. Um, let's see. I'd like to have a little, oh, not yellow. A little bit more of this shade here. On that feather. Okay. So we're going to get more of that in there when it dries some. I get a little white. I gotta get a little white out on my palette. So this can separate here. A little too much. That's all right. It'll work. <clears throat> this has got to be a little bit reddish blue up here. I'm just tapping it on my feather, just kind of giving it that color there. <clears throat> I 
this I'm just kind of cleaning it up a little kind of getting some of that red making it real dark <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm rinsing out my brush now. I'm going to get a little bit more white. It's like an off-white anyways. It's sort of more like a really pale um, violet that we want to put in here. So. Something like that. A little bit of the violet and just bring it on up. Okay, with this one, I'd like to get a little bit more light turquoise in there. Um, just a little white with it. Kind of get this like where it's looking like a little bit of a feather. There we go. more purpley in this one also yeah. I'd have to do that a little bit again because it's still wet and it's not blending yet so with this once it dries you can get a little bit better of a have it come down this way so let's see if we can get some deep purple in there this will help it and then we can get white in there once it dries a little bit goes into that purpley pretty turquoise shade here. Okay. Let me see this from back here. Step back. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> that really looks nice. Um, <clears throat> you can see it. Looks pretty nice. It really does. Uh, I like the way the colors are and everything. So let's get in that uh, little beak of his. Which I'm going to start out. I'm going to put the beak in as a, a blue. And then I'm just going to add some white on top. So the beak is going to be a little bluish. <clears throat> and then just add a little white on top of it. Something like that, but I'm not real happy with the way that looks. Let me see here. I do need some black. And I don't have any black here. What's wrong with that picture? Let me see here. What I got. Huh. Okay. Hold on. 
black. My, all my black is gone. Huh. That's not good. Oh, I don't have any black. All right. That's going to cause a little bit of a issue. I have to get some black to finish it. Because that's just too light. <clears throat> and I don't want to do its eyes, too. Um, hmm. I must have used all my black in that uh, class I taught. Okay, let me just see if I can find some. Alright, we're in luck. I have some black. And uh, it's Mars black. It's basic. It's probably old, but nonetheless, we'll try to get some out of here. little thick. <clears throat> so next time I go to the Hobby Lobby, I will have to try to get that. Actually, let's, well, let me just paint it in here. I'm going to get some of that blue that I used in the sky. Because it really is too big here. And it's not that big, so we'll just cut that out a little bit. The beak is a lot up and through here, down, and then the beak comes over like here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Wait till that dries a snitch. Okay, let's get the eyes. Okay, I'm going to use a small, small round if I have one here. Okay, this is a very tiny. Um, number one, going into my black with a little water on my brush. again. I don't like that too much. Hopefully we can get that to work. Sometimes things are finicky. I get in some red too in there so that it looks really nice on his. It's really dark and through here. And 
and it gets lighter here. Same here, it gets some lightness. A little bit of lightness in here. Okay, so now <clears throat> the eye is a little bit of a brown shade in there. Sort of like around here. lightness right around in here okay and let's see some of that brown let's just get <clears throat> now if we can just get this beak right that would be great let me get some more red here and see if I can get this to come down around this beak <clears throat> add some white do it. Okay. Just gonna tap it. <clears throat> Get some red. Okay, let's see now. Get some white in the brush. And we're just gonna kinda go like that. Make a little wedgie there. And then this is kinda going up. here that and I think this is kind of dark in here and then here just to give that in there that that beak is coming over what is that over like the beak has to come over a little bit more like that okay we're gonna put a little dot I'm gonna just use my um, stylus to put a dot in the eye just grab a little white on the tip 
and put that right here. So it has a little bit of... Okay, and this comes up in here. So let's see if we can get that up in there. A little bit right in through here, it comes up. I'm going to grab a little black on my stylus. Kind of just draw that over this away. So now we can paint this like that it comes down that way. Okay. Grabbing a little brown here and then just kind of outlining that a little. Okay, let's see now. Step back again. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, what I need from you is to tell me if you like this. Um, I think it's looking great, and I know it's going to be pretty in a frame. It'll be beautiful. Um, <clears throat> I like to hear from you, so, you know, if you like this painting, um, give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to support me and maybe... Uh, you can get some little gifts uh, from me if you support me on Patreon. I'm Mary Pittsburgh Artist on Patreon. And uh, leave me some comments there. Tell me if you like this or not. And you will. Ha there will be... Um, I will have... Um, <clears throat> the tracing on Patreon <clears throat> as soon as I publish my my uh, painting because uh, I have to edit it and everything so as soon as it's edited I will have it up well, I do hope you like this I know I enjoyed painting it. It was fun. I love bright colors. So this kind of like helped me out a little bit with that. I enjoy doing paintings with bright colors. Um, it's kind of interesting how they turn out. Actually, this is a feather. It has a little bit of a... These ha are going in here, so they have to have like little feathers connecting them. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Like I said, you can always find something that you need to do a little bit more. I think I want to put some white in this, if I'm not mistaken, here. Just to I'll help it pop a little. Same with this purple one. Um, kind of get some white into this. Maybe a little darker here. Just detailing, little details, final parts of this painting. That is 
something right there, so I'm going to get some of that a little bit of there. Okay. So the one thing I want to do is put a, a feathery thing on that, a white little piece of feather that connects in here. Oh, I love it. I love it. He really looks so cool. He is really cool. Very nice. Okay, well, until next time, uh, happy painting, and I hope you enjoyed this today, and we'll see you soon. Bye. I just wanted to uh, get back here and, and show you a few things. Um, I did change this a little bit. I took out that one feather, got, uh, got it out of there because it just didn't look right. Made this a little shorter. Um, I put a little bit more blue in here. Same, same principle that we were working on when we did this background. And uh, I made his little um, head and this part here. Um, different too. I put the uh, more alizarian crimson in here and then I highlighted it and same with this uh, whatever that thing is there I don't know uh, I kind of darkened it put a little light in here and shortened it down a little bit so I uh, just wanted to put that little extra in there to let you know that it is changed a bit but it, this way um, you know, sometimes you just need to, like, work on it on your own in order to get it the way you want it without having to do, like, a lot of, um, you know, uh, dictation on it, you know. Uh, and sometimes I can concentrate a little bit more when I don't have to talk through it. And uh, this turned out much better, I think. What do you think? I'd like to hear your comments on the bottom here, uh, the information section. And don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out on Patreon. Uh, Mary Pittsburgh Artist. I um, hope to see you there. Okay, bye.